So I try to get in the studio uh, uh, as soon as I can. I try to get here by 9 o'clock. If I'm going outside to paint, then I go out as early as possible. Um, try to make it with the light because that's that's the very best light. But if it's a studio day, I try to not go to the computer, maybe answer a few emails because I get a lot of questions that I love to answer. And there's a lot of business that we do if you do this for a living. Unfortunately, there's a lot of business you have to do. But I try to get that out of the way and then get to the studio. And so work from 9 to 12. And then um, we're both, Jim and I, my husband and I are both usually ready for a meal. And that's really the time that we get to talk to each other because we don't talk when we're painting. Um, so we'll take an hour for lunch. And then I'll work, depending on the time of the year, I come back and work. Um, this time of year with our beautiful long days, I can be in the studio until 7.30 and still working by natural light. And I do work in the studio by natural light. If I, uh, it, it would be a very rare thing for me to work by artificial light. So um, it, it's, it's, an, it's time management. There, every now and then I have to take an entire day and just do business. So I know a lot of our artists that are watching, you've got children, you've got responsibilities, and um, I, I, hats off to you. I, I admire you more than anything, you guys with kids. Um, I made the choice not to have children because this is what I wanted to do with my life. And I knew I didn't want to split my passion. and So that would have been a conflict. And I, I just chose not to. But you guys that have kids, you're amazing. So try to when you try to schedule your day, try to schedule large pieces of time. Don't, don't go, well, I'll go to the grocery store and I'll come home and paint for an hour and then it's time to pick up the kids. Put all your errands in one one day. Put your business in one day, and and literally buy yourself those those three hour periods because you don't you're not going to really get into your rhythm for the first hour, and then you need another two hours to get into a rhythm. And there is a brain rhythm that you get into. And uh, try try to you know explain to the people that love you, I love you back, but you know mom's at the office now. Don't interrupt. So that's easier said than done, but you've got to try. Sometimes people, they'll, they'll tell me these horror stories. They'll go home and say, you know, somebody that loves them will say, did you work today or did you just do your art? I'm like, keep up with me. Stand with me for 10 hours. Let's see how you do. Let's see if you call this work at the end of the day. Because, because it is work. But it doesn't look like work. It looks like, oh, wow, we're pretty, pretty colors and isn't that fun. And they don't realize the kind of... Uh, extraordinary mental focus that that really good painting takes and you really do go to a different place in your brain where that creativity may not be presenting itself in words it's just there and you're accessing it but it takes focus and it takes hours and try to get the people that love you or don't love you to understand I'm at the office guys that's it you wouldn't walk into a banker's office and say hey I'd like to chat or what are we having for lunch you just wouldn't do it <laughs> Try, try to explain to them that this is my job. This is what I do. This is how I'm focused. 